a lot of people want to convert their movies from uh, perhaps a DVD or something like that to uh, place on their um, iPod or iPhone and today I'm going to show you a very, very simple way to do it using a uh, software, a free piece of software called Super. Um, to download the software, it's, you just go to this address www.erightsoft.com slash super.html once you reach the page, um, it's a little bit confusing uh, because it they tend to, um, well, I, I guess the owners of the site want want you to click on, you know, perhaps the adverts here. I uh, mis mistakenly click the adverts here, so I think they they've more or less deliberately um, made downloading the software a little bit uh, confusing. But anyway, you just need to go to this URL and go all the way down. Okay, just go all the way, scroll all the way down, and you see here where it says start downloading super. Click on this. Don't click on any of these, right? These are adverts, right? Just click on this. Start downloading, downloading Super. And once you click on that, you, you see this page normally. And then all you want to do is go down a little bit. It says here, you know, Super is a free multimedia software to download and use. Click on the download and use link. Okay. And you'll be sent to this page, right? Um, and what you want to do is, you know, once again, there are a lot of files to download here. So you do not want to click on any of these links. Okay, just go all the way down. Scroll all the way down past this, um, past this, all the way down some more to the end. Don't click on any of this. You see here where it says download super at, you know, setup file, you know, download super from official site one or something like that. Just click on this. Once you click on it, get a normal prompt uh, to download to save the file just save it to you know one to your desktop or something like that and just wait for it to download it, it's quite big it's about 28.6 megabytes so depending on the connection it may take um, you know some time but anyway just let it finish downloading and then um, you just need to install the software it's quite easy I'll, I'm gonna show you in, in the next step okay um, as you can see just was well, finished downloading just click on this and um, run and you will be asking for the language and just click on next and you know just continue and I agree and click on install right um, installing this is very very fast so just you know click on install and it'll be done very very quickly I'm not going to install it because I really have it installed on my computer so once you've installed it um, just go to click on um, start okay and you should see super here click on super and there you go. Okay, the thing is, if you're using um, Windows Vista, you might need to change, um, you know, you can't just uh, click on Super and then run it like that. If you're using Vista, I'm not using Vista right now, I'm using XP, but if you're using Vista, you got to right click on the file and there's a run as administrator uh, option. Click on that and uh, you know, then you can run Super properly. Okay, once you fire up Super, um, you can use this to uh, convert your DVD or, or downloaded movies or what have you to iTunes format. What you need to do is just select Apple iPod 5.5G, okay, and you'll auto select everything else. You don't need to change anything else here. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to yeah, um, choose the file you want to convert, okay? It's very, very easy to do that. If you're trying to convert a DVD, um, just right click, add multimedia files, browse to your DVD. Um, and click on the video underscore TS. And okay, you'll see, you know, there are multiple files here. Um, basically, you want to change to detail view. So the thing is, most of the time, um, you know, these are different different chapters, okay? Um, so you want to right click on it, well, not right click, you want to select this. If you can, you can select all of it. You know, just select all of it by, you know, dragging and then click on open. Okay, and it will edit all here, right? And all that's left to do is to click on the encode button and wait, okay? Now, generally speaking, it's going to take a little bit of time, um, you know, to um, convert all this. So I recommend doing it before you go out or, you know, before you go to sleep or something like that. Just let your computer run. The thing is, when you um, use this software to convert the videos, is your computer is going to be a bit sluggish, okay? So don't do this while you're, you know, you, you got stuff to do, right? So, you know, it's, it's really that simple. You just wait until it's finished. And, um, you know, and literally that file that's, um, you know, uh, been converted, you can just add it onto iTunes very, very easily. I'm gonna show you in the next step, all right? Okay, you can see that um, Super has converted 
the uh, DVD into a file called uh, you know, .mp4, .mp4 format. So you can literally just add this to your iTunes very, very easily. Just go to iTunes and click on File, and then um, add file to the library. Browse over to it, click on it. Okay, and just wait. You can see it's copying file, right? Just let it finish copying, and you know you're done really. Okay, it's here as you can see. Um, the new file that I just added is right here, right? Okay, so it's as simple as that. You can use Super. It's a very, very uh, well. <laughs> it's a super um, software to let you convert uh, movies from one format to another. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you.